Hi, I'm Ed O'Keefe, CBS News Senior White House and political correspondent outside, where else? 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. President Biden obviously in this race, Donald Trump, a Republican contender, but also still running. Nikki Haley, the former South Carolina governor and UN ambassador to Donald Trump, still very much in the mix, although there are a lot of questions about for how much longer. So we put that question this week to CBS News campaign reporter Nidia Cavazos, who's been covering Haley over the last several weeks and months. Here's the issue. Nidia is down in South Carolina, so busy following the campaign, we couldn't actually find the time to do this face to face. So yeah. we exchanged emails. Hi, Nidia. I hope you're doing well. I'm sending this email from our cramped White House booth. Since you've been covering the Haley campaign for CBS News, how's it going? And more importantly, how does the Haley campaign think she's going to prevail in South Carolina? Dear Ed, hello from sunny and breezy South Carolina. And thanks for your email. I know we share the challenge of life on the road during a presidential campaign. Okay, so Nikki Haley's campaign, which I've been covering since October. We went from Iowa, where she came in third. Thank you, Iowa! To New Hampshire, where she came in second, but claimed a win. Haley has been pitching her presidency as an alternative to Donald Trump's second term. Haley claims the world is on fire and that both fellas, Donald Trump and President Biden, are not fit for the presidency. That's where we've been. I think we've done enough with the fellas. I, I appreciate all you fellas that showed up today, but don't you think it's finally time we had a woman in the White House? No drama, no vendettas, not taking things personally, just getting to work. And when it comes to the border. It doesn't even look like the United States of America anymore. And Across campaign stops, Haley argues Biden's administration is not acting at the U.S. southern border, putting the country at risk. She denounces illegal immigration, so she wants to go back to the Remain in Mexico policy and catch and deport instead of catch and release. We'll put 25,000 Border Patrol and ICE agents on the ground and let them do their job. We'll go back to the Remain in Mexico policy because no one should even step foot on U.S. soil. And instead of catch and release, we'll go to catch and deport. That is what the way we will stop what's happening on the border. It's a great day in South Carolina. And before South Carolina, she's added some new tactics to sway voters. President Obama sued us and we won. Eight million illegal immigrants have come to that border. We had enough fentanyl cross that border last year that would kill every single American. I have a different style and approach. I'll fix our economy, close our border, and strengthen the cause of freedom. It's important to note that Haley just fundraised the most money in a single month since launching her campaign with $16 million raised in January. I'm not going anywhere. And after South Carolina, Haley has her eyes set on Super Tuesday. I feel no need to kiss the ring. I have no fear of Trump's retribution. I am not going anywhere. Her campaign strategy is counting on the 11 out of 16 Super Tuesday states that have open or semi-open primaries, allowing independents to participate. Well, I am going somewhere after South Carolina. The next day I'm headed to Michigan, and then we're going to Super Tuesday states. In Massachusetts, for example, we're going to be everywhere we need to be. Independents make up more than 60% of registered voters, creating an opportunity for Haley to close in on Trump. I think for now, at this point in the 2024 race, this is where we stand. See you soon, I'm sure.